I'm Professor Alan Edelman. I'm a professor in the Department of Mathematics. I'm also a member of the CCL, the Computer Science and AI Laboratories. I've always lived this double life where I've been doing um, high performance computing and numerical algorithms and this more theoretical math. Indeed, my work in math and the work in computing really aren't two separate lives at all. Uh, truth be told, what I do is I do a lot of simulations in the mathematics and so I'm a, a user of high performance computing, uh, but I'm also a developer of high performance computing, so I kind of eat my own dog food, so to speak. I've been involved with high performance computing for 30 years. Uh, for, for all of these years, the research has been how to make it easier, how to get the performance without taking so much time. Uh, to, to this date, we really haven't been that successful in doing that. There have been pro there's been progress, there have been strides made, but to this date, we, we really don't know how to do it. Uh, so my research has been trying to do it a completely different way. Uh, what we're trying to do is, uh, with our Julia project, we're, we're, we're trying to, to, to kind of change the whole way that people have gone about solving the problem almost by solving the problem without trying immediately to solve the problem. For many, many years there was this thing called MPI for parallel computers. Uh, MPI still may be the very popular thing, but it, 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 it's never really be grown beyond a, a certain number of people using it. It's considered hard to use. Uh, truth be told, when you, when you program in MPI, you're so happy to have finished the job and get any performance at all, you'll never tweak it, you'll never change it, you'll never adapt it. Julia changes that. Julia lets you play with the code, adapt it. You don't, it, it it's so easy to, it, it's so flexible, Julia's so flexible that you can go and, and, and adapt it in, in many new ways. Uh, the, the other kinds of systems that are out there that people use, there, there's proprietary systems, there's, there's, there's the MATLABs and Mathematica and Maples of the world, uh, there's open source, uh, there's, there's Python and there's R. What they would do is they would take software that's already been out there, say written in Fortran or C, they would, or they would take code that was developed maybe just for those libraries, but just for those software packages. Uh, they, they would take that software and kind of glue it together, I call it with, with bubble gum and paper clips. So a user has easy access to these programs written in these harder languages, but when the person wants to code themselves, they don't have the benefit of the Fortran or C speeds. When you use Julia, you can use programs written in other languages, and we do incorporate them, but we make it really easy to develop in Julia all the way down. And what that does is it means that you don't just have from here to here where you could program, and then there's this big barrier which you are very unlikely to cross to be able to get the higher performance, the higher speed. With Julia, you could stay wherever your comfort level is. If you want to stay up here, that's fine. You could use it just like these other languages. But if you want to get past that and do fancier things, the barrier to entry is much lower. And what we find is that people who even think they just want to stay up here, after a while, very quickly start going here and they find that they like it. And they find that they're, this makes them supermen. They've become powerful to be able to, to, they're all superheroes now. They can start doing things they didn't even know they could do before.